Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle news update. As we've all heard by now, Hunter Labrador is the new NPC National Bodybuilding Overall Champion. His dad won the title back in 1985, the great Lee Labrada winning the middleweight class and uh, obviously not winning the overall back then, but earning his pro card and going on to obviously a Hall of Fame stellar bodybuilding career. Hunter, only 26 years of age now, uh, becoming the newest NPC national champion. Congratulations to Hunter. Great kid, great career ahead of him. But a lot of you know people come up to me and say, you know, or been emailing me and texting me and saying, Dave, what do you think about Hunter Labrada versus Sergio Oliva Jr.? Obviously, obviously Sergio Oliva Jr., the son of the late great uh, Sergio Oliva, uh, who was a former Mr. Olympia two times, and obviously Sergio following his footsteps and you know having a stellar pro career now thus far, um, getting a little bit of a later start. Obviously, uh, Hunter Labrada earning his pro status way earlier in his career at a much younger age than Sergio, almost 10 years, I believe, uh, difference. So it'll be interesting, you know, it's an interesting comparison. Um, so you have to go back and, and, and look. You know, Sergio got a late, like I said, a later start. Um, he really, I think, started to excel later in his career. I don't know, it could have been a, a you know, a, look, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer myself, you know. Uh, I, I just think his body took a longer time to mature. It's interesting that Hunter Labrada, you know, became a super heavyweight. His dad, obviously, being a middleweight, he's much taller than his dad was. Sergio Lever and his father were kind of similar height and stuff like that in structure. So, you know, you're comparing two super heavyweights, of course, between Sergio and, and Hunter, but, you know, we really can't compare the legacies of their dads. So let's move the dads out of the equation and let's compare Hunter to Sergio. You know, Sergio does turn pro, obviously, winning the NPC Nationals as well later in his career, but then goes on, you know, to win the New York Pro and in his pro debut. And, and, that, and that's significant because, you know, winning the Nationals is, is one thing. Winning a pro show and a pro show of the caliber of New York Pro, and it was not an easy win on his part, already cements him as a solid IFBB Pro uh, physique. You know, uh, he's been validated by pro judges. He's been validated on one of the biggest you know, venues in the world. You know, the New York stage is a very difficult stage to do well at. Uh, Lee Labrada won the New York Pro um, when it was called the Night of Champions back in the day. And I know Hunter has expressed interest in doing the New York Pro in 2020. I think once we see Hunter on that stage making that pro debut as a pro with another two years, you know, a year and a half of training under his belt, I think we would have a better comparison. It's very hard to make a prediction. Now, if I look at structures, obviously Sergio doesn't have the exact same structure of his dad, although he's got some, some, some compa you know, com comparable, I guess, body parts, the arms, the chest, the traps. Um, obviously, they facially look a lot alike. And, and the funny thing is that Lee and Hunter Labrada look a lot alike facially as well, even if they're not the same height. Uh, the point is that, you know, Sergio doesn't have the same small waist his dad has, but he does make up for it in, in other body parts. I think he's got better legs than his dad had. Uh, Hunter Labrada doesn't have small hips like his dad Lee had. Uh, he's got slightly wider hips, even though he's got a, a relatively smaller waist, a small waist, I should say, for his structure. Um, once again, his body is still maturing, and it's very hard to make you know, judgment calls. At this point in the game, if I, you know, if I have to say who's better, it's Sergio. Of course it is. Sergio has won the New York Pro. Sergio has a lot more mass on him. You know, Hunter could stop competing tomorrow. We don't know. So you can't say Hunter is better, obviously. Does Hunter have more potential than Sergio? Possibly. Possibly, and I'll tell you why. Because he's starting at a, at a younger age. He's in the pro ranks at 26. You know, he's going to come into his own probably over the next three or four years by the time he hits 30. Uh, Sergio, you know, is, is almost 40 now. So obviously, you know, he's going to keep making improvements, but they're not going to be at the same pace that they were when he was younger. Hunter's, you know, uh, progress, if he puts 100% into this and makes this his life and career and, and really dedicates himself to his craft, you know, could be really good. I mean, he could, his best gains are well, definitely ahead of him. You know, he's, he took the first, you know, whatever, eight years of his, of his bodybuilding to kind of just build a base, you know, and he's a big, big structured kid. So now he's going to start adding mass 
and rounding off those muscle bellies and getting that muscle maturity, like we say, uh, that happens. And people always ask me, what is muscle maturity? Muscle maturity is when you first start growing, the muscles kind of grow longer, okay? When they can't grow longer anymore, and that takes several, obviously, years to, to, to you know, happen. If you're short and you have short limbs, it happens quicker. If you're taller and have longer limbs, it takes longer to kind of get those muscles to grow. But when they can't grow longer anymore, they start to get rounder, more 3D, as we say. And that, that's what really what muscle maturity is. Uh, and that's really what changes. So, you know, you don't, you're not, at a certain point, your arms don't get bigger, but they get more defined and more groovy and stuff like that. And I think that's what uh, really, you know, when you see a guy on stage and he has all that showing, it's very impressive. And, and obviously, Sergio's at that point, at this point already, he's got the muscle maturity. However, um, Hunter does not yet. And I think Hunter would be the first person to admit that. But that's, that's, what he, that's the exciting part of, of bodybuilding, getting growing and continuing to improve. He obviously has a structure that can be a definite you know, pro contest winner. Will he win the New York Pro? Will he win the Arnold Classic? Will he ever step on the Olympia stage and place top five or six? Who knows? Uh, I would only be speculating to say that. Right now, I give Sergio the edge because he's done it already. Uh, if Hunter Labrada does it at some point and does it better, then, then we'll all say Hunter was a, was a bigger success. Uh, as far as sons of former great bodybuilding champions. Now, it's funny because it, over the next couple of years, we'll probably start to see more and more of this happen. You know, maybe not all in the open bodybuilding division. Maybe we'll see them in classic physique and, and men's physique. But obviously, if, if, a, if a successful pro bodybuilder has children, you know, he's passing on very good genetics for, for bodybuilding. Now, if his son or daughter decides to go into that arena, obviously they have a slight advantage, um, you know, genetically speaking. But sometimes people don't, you know, take those tools that they're given and, and go with them. And not everyone wants to be a bodybuilder. Obviously, Hunter wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps uh, after, you know, years of training. And, and, and he successfully did it. I'm sure Lee is very proud of his son, and he should be. Uh, he's a good kid, and I think he's got a great future ahead of him. Uh, same thing with Sergio. Uh, you know, Sergio had a slightly different relationship with his dad. His dad didn't want him to go into bodybuilding. He wanted to prove his dad wrong, so there was a, there was a different motivation on each part. Whereas I think Lee is more of a uh, has really been you know behind Hunter the entire time. Although Lee's the first person to say that I don't do his diet, I don't get involved. I I you know I give him advice, I encourage him. If he has a problem, he can come to me. But you know I don't want to get too involved, and that's probably a good thing. It's like not helping your wife or your spouse <laughs> get ready for a show. You know I have so many people who hire me to do their, the diet of their wife, and they can do it themselves, but they just know you, they're too close to that person, and obviously it's very hard. The bottom line is, congratulations to Hunter Labrada on being the new NPC national champion. We're all going to be watching you over these next couple of years and seeing how great you could become. I think the sky's the limit. Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle News Update.